This video will show you how bad that blue coat of silence obstructs public safety, the primary goal of laws and law enforcement. And before y'all go off on me for being a cop hater, well, see, are you gonna listen to me? me? Are no, you gonna listen no, to man, me? you're a little chipmunk. Look at your face. Let me share that my own flesh and blood brother was law enforcement. Here is his shadow box I'm told was displayed at his funeral that I couldn't attend because I was neck deep fighting for our country's defense. And that's all about I have to butt fucking say about that. So understand that we at Lincoln Square Leonidas are not anti-law enforcement. Quite the opposite. We are anti-terrorist, especially at the expense of those we devoted our lives to protecting. So let's recap some violations of public safety this channel has exposed that hasn't garnered any attention from law enforcement due to that blue coat of silence. How a wounded warrior was chased down and stabbed after disarming a repeat violent firearms offender of his pistol. The police and DA conspiring to not charge their buddy with three attempted murders. The same cop conspires to cover up another murder in the same town as my assailant. And the same DA uses the same legal mechanism to exonerate an aggressive pervert cop. Utilizing a quarter million dollars in taxpayer hush money. Oh, and my video here, Wounded Warrior Confronts Attempted Murderer in Public, shares with you what it's like for a brain-injured, severe PTSD veteran wounded warrior to bump into his triple attempted murderer at the grocery store in public. While my assailant still armed with his little 38 snub nose he tried to kill me with. This guy stabbed me. Do you see this? He's got a pistol on him right now. He's got a pistol on him and he stabbed me and he got away with it in Adams County. Okay, before we get to exposing your bunk-ass law enforcement, we need to address some recent news in Gettysburg, namely the firebombing of our courthouse and a separate actor burning a flagpole in our veteran cemetery. This channel clearly states that all we ask of our fans is to bear witness and spread the word of the corruption. Being a veteran of foreign wars and battles that most of y'all have never even heard of. We understand better than most that violence is not something we want conducted around our loved ones. So now that we've addressed any inciting the violence charges, let me take your hand and guide you on a magic carpet ride showing you what this blue coat of silence leaves you wondering why you're signing these guys' checks. This Gettysburg Times article details how Police Chief Robert Glennie addresses the firebombing by reaching out to federal investigators. So when the feds get into town, how the fuck do you think that conversation went? Okay, so you got any suspects? Yeah, you see... There's this guy. This channel's about as real life Rambo as you can get. Hey, watch your sector. Don't fucking don't worry about body parts. Well, we kind of charged him with a felony for getting stabbed so he wouldn't testify against our buddy Glenn. Oh my god, even for cops, you guys are awful. Oh, there's more. A LOT MORE! Here's where I had to pull bloody turds out of my ass in jail for my ex breaking in my house and planting drugs. Okay, that's enough. What's this guy capable of? <laughs> yeah, but that's not the worst part. That's not the worst part? Destabilizing governments is my comfort zone. Hey, Yombo! Hey, Yombo! I get to go to work pro bono in my backyard. Oh. Well, if he's that good, I guess he wouldn't have fucked up firebombing the courthouse. Don't push it or I'll give you a war you won't believe. We'll just stop the investigation right there. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, let's launch and swap cop stories. There's a new brewery opened up in town. <laughs> Game. So what's it like busting color folk? We don't get many up here. You guys think I'm fucking joking. Here's an email. From a Pennsylvania Capitol Police investigator got shawarma on the brain. The establishment is locked on to deny and suppress this corruption. So much so that they had the local Barney Fife's harassing the shit out of me. Look at this clown ass shit driving through a fucking battlefield. I'm trying to get water for my dog because we just walked the battlefield. Officers come around Township Police Department. Howdy. This conversation will be an audio recorded. Yeah. What's the problem? He says he pulled me over because he couldn't see my tag, yes, and now the story changes. Thing. Now and the story changes. Why does he have to thing. see my ID or any of that? And he saw it when he walked up. What's the problem? You because guys are trolling to find stuff that's wrong. I gotta get my dog water. That's the only thing that's wrong right now. 
other than you guys being obese in uniform, you know? This is where I tell Officer Eric Yost about a crazy lunatic on the lam with a gun. Second time violent offender stabbed me and District Attorney Brian Sinek got this guy off free. And you guys lied your faces off to get this guy off. Yet, he still feels that an erroneous tag violation is a more pressing issue. This is going to go one of two ways. The easy way or the hard way. The I don't consent to this. Is you cooperate with them, the hard way is you're going to go to jail today. Understand there is no the reason to stop me is. because he sees my tag. There's no reason to stop he me now. He did not see it when he stopped you. Right, so now that he's corrected, now am I free to go? Now am I free to go? No, I don't have a valid Pennsylvania so you don't driver's have a right license. To drive. Yes, I absolutely no, do. You don't. Now the story comes out. What you makes you think I don't have a valid PA driver's because license? Because I've already been told you don't. Oh, really? Well, maybe you should go fucking check Texas where this truck is registered. I don't care about Texas. You're in Pennsylvania. You need to have a Pennsylvania driver's license. Now that you've terrorized me and broken the rights that you're supposed to respect, Watch his face when he successfully terrorizes a wounded warrior. All right, well, now that you've terrorized me and broken the rights that you're supposed to respect, here's my fucking driver's license, you piece of shit. Terrorist fucks. Now watch what he says when I hand him one of these cards. Informing him of a wounded warrior taking a stand against local corruption. Listen, look what you guys are caught. You look what you guys... I know you don't. One more time for the people at home, Officer Eric Yost. They're caught you look about you guys. But the puck doesn't stop there at that portly petite Pennsylvania peckerhead patrolman. You guys all have each other's backs and will lie to your faces off to do it. And I've seen it. This hole is here by a second time violent firearms offender, Glenn Kessler, who conspired with the cops to not charge him with it. And he's running around Fairfield right now armed. Here's Detective Stephen Higgs affirming he will investigate this matter. I'm gonna look at that because mm -hmm. I'm kinda interested. Guess where that investigation went? Well, from all my life experiences... I know you never let the terrorists dick tank terms. So within two hours of my illegal detainment, I post a video of the repercussions of fucking with me. Watch these Are you gonna listen to me? me? Are no, you gonna listen no, to man, me? you're a little chipmunk. Look at your face. Right. Okay. Get out of here, dude. Okay. And then email it to his entire department. And the harassment stopped. But I fucking did In this email, I give the department some real crooks to go after by linking my video here. State-sanctioned pervert cops and repeat firearms offenders. You guessed it. Their response? So you see where that blue coat of silence gets you? A pervert cop, a corrupt DA, and a triple attempted murderer armed and on the loose. But the cops are all over my ass for the heinous crimes of... No, he couldn't okay. see my tag because he wasn't looking. You guys had enough of that mess? Check out these pigs at the trough. Here's Adams County Sheriff James Muller, a veteran of the Vietnam War. He's also an experienced veteran of that blue coat of silence. Here's a handful of chiefs and entire departments from around the county that have been notified about the entire fiasco. And the actions they've taken? Except for... Gettysburg Police Chief Robert Glennie, whom will never ever compromise public safety for the sake of convenience. Unless it means breaking that blue code of silence. Apparently he was given a heads up about my emails fingering the local police chief. So he fucking deactivates his email. That's fine. I'll just send it by way of... Gettysburg Mayor Ted Streeter. Now the mayor and the chief know about our DA spending taxpayer hush money for a pervert cop. High five! I've been meaning to burn Mayor Streeter because he's the perfect representative of the corruption in Gettysburg. I personally handed him a Leonidas card months ago and he ignored me. The part that really burns my buns about this cheese penis. He dares to wear the rooster on his lapel. This is a picture of me on my IED interrogation vehicle while part of Task Force Band of Brothers. The same unit Mayor Streeter's representing on his lapel. Well, let's band together, brother and investigate this tax money being spent on pervert cops. Let's investigate how a triple attempted murderer is still armed and doing community service for it. How'd no. you get away with stabbing me? Um, I did, I'm actually in trouble. Remember folks, all these guys you've just seen have sworn an oath to protect you. And they may mostly be good people, but good luck finding an honest cop when it means breaking that blue coat of silence. Look what it was capable of doing to a wounded warrior in plain view. Oh my god, dog, I feel so dirty. How do you get the smell of cop corruption off of you? What? You can't. You just gotta roll in more shit to cover it up? Show me. <laughs>
<laughs> it's like a pig in the mud. Oh, look at all that mud. Do it one more time, buddy. 